be the uh, that may be the winning uh, call here for Evos to force a game three. Yeah, we, we saw it in uh, Geek Fam versus Evos SG. They were starting to choke out the uh, cores. So, uh, with that being said, Evos now picking up on the the the, the trend here. Correct. Uh, you 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 ban out the Claude and. I don't think it's it's uh, an exaggeration if I say you play this as if it's your last because technically it is. If you lose this game here, you're 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 swept by Bren and you're knocked out of the Mytel International Championship. So you really have to give your best, and this is solid. One, a respect ban, and two, an active ban. Nobody wants to see Natalia. Very dangerous. And Brenny Sports here, they are banning out the Popol and Koopa, JPL, stop in your tracks, and their Kryptonite man, their weakness. It's the Selena. So the, this is this is brand new sports. They're feeling it, man. They're headed for the grand finals. They are. They're feeling it. And Evos PH will uh, Evos SG. I mean, will do whatever they can to stay in the uh, in the uh, tournament run as they go for an Esmeralda hover and a lo an eventual lock in. Mm hmm So uh, there's a f many different ways you could uh, play this uh, Esmeralda, but. Uh, as a core, I hope not, because it's essentially easily countered. You have so much to rely on for this to work. You have to really make her snowball. So I'm guessing this is going to be a uh, mid laner or a side laner for Evos. They really need uh, someone reliable, it's like like a Kimmy man. Like a, like bring out the championship Kimmy uh, or uh, the carry right for for potato. Uh, but yeah, Brandy Sports, you're gonna lock in the Tams. Ooh, I feel it. I feel it. It might be on Lasty once more, and they pick up the Kaja. Ooh, first time we're gonna see Kaja today. Is it is it a Rebo Kaja, or is it going to be an EJ Kaja? I don't feel like EJ is a uh, the Kaja fits for EJ. Yeah, though. no, most most likely uh, Rebo or Lasty, because uh, again, the Tams is is such a Swiss Army knife of a hero, and uh, he can move around. But yeah. I like the Kaja here. Atlas here locked in as well as the Valir. First time to see Valir again today, as well here today in the Mytel International Championships. It's the Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. Later on, and this is the road to it. And we're finally seeing Valir. Man, yeah, make him whistle like a missile. The, the, the fires are going to be coming in. And the Lang is going to be on the hands of Carl Teasy though. They have the Kaja as well. So there are no good catches for uh, for this Ling. Hmm. Well, there is some CC in Valir. Uh, you could get a good catch in uh, with a well-placed Falling Star Moon. And uh, yeah. We're going to go into the second phase of banning here. And so far... These two teams are keeping their cards close to their chest. For Brenny Sports, I think uh, their linchpin is going to be the tank. They need to pick a very good tank. And, hmm. I support this Grok. I mean, it could be an, again, Atlas, such a fair tank, all right? He, he, you, you, he telegraphs the where he comes in from, unless he flickers into you with the Fatal Links. But, yeah, if you... Pop uh, your initiate with Atlas and you don't get the fatal links in. You're caught out there and you basically don't know what to do. Uh, you're, 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 you're safely uh, in distance. You could be pulled in uh, by uh, the Kaja here or just face down a Uranus and a Tams. And Nomad, the Uranus and Tams. It's, it's a combo that we usually see not working, but here it seems to be, it, it equals money, man. It seems to equal money. I agree with you, and we've seen a couple of uh, Uranuses having the 8G lineup, having the execute lifestyle yep. there that manages to make it work. But they're opting to go for Teresa. The Th Teresa oh, is a good choice no. for this link. Is it though? Because we we saw it picked up earlier this week, um, possibly yesterday. It wasn't and against the link still... though. I guess so with the Ling and you see the Tempest of Blades, you pop the penalty zone. Like peekaboo, I guess. But man, it still feels like such a psycho pick for me. It 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 it's it's not not favorable, alright? So far, uh 
that's a big question mark. But I do love the show. Don't get me wrong. I do love the show. And by the looks of things, this might be a core Esmeralda because there's no one else in that lineup that can carry uh, the team. No pun intended. We, we do miss carry. Uh, but Bren kept their cards close to their chest. They only revealed the Grok in the very last part of their draft. But with that being said, uh, I think I'll favor uh, Brandy Sports lineup here. It's just so much safer, and there's so much that can go wrong again with the Terizla. Terizla doesn't feel right in this meta just yet. Yeah, I'll go up against you with here, uh, with you here. I feel like it's gonna be an Evos game, uh, game number two. But there are a couple of check marks that needs to be met. One of those check marks is if Teresa is in the team fight where Ling is attempting to go for the Tempest of Blades. If Teresa has that, uh, if he times the penalty zone just right, Ling would be uh, knocked up and disabled for a couple of seconds, more than enough time for Esmeralda to shred down Ling. All right, so I guess it's uh, the catch to the catch. It's mm -hmm. uh, the counter to the anti-funnel. It's the anti-anti-funnel. I don't know. Anti-funnel, funnel, anti-funnel, <laughs> anti funnel strat. We'll see. But again, uh, this is great innovation from Evos SG. Uh, credit where credit is due. If this lineup does work, then we're bound to see a game three. But look at this down. Bottom lusty. Gonna be taken out so early. No way he's gonna get away from this. Soul takes down the thumbs on Lusty. That's first blood. For Evo says you have to a good start already. Mm -hmm. Getting the uh, early first blood onto this uh, Cho would be impactful. Cho does need to at least get a blade of despair in order for him to start going. Uh, Little Water is going to be secured by Brent Esports. A couple of bodies being committed here onto EJ. EJ managed to survive. Carl TZ jumping on to oh. Pokemon. Pokemon's going to be uh, managed to make it out alive. Potato does not does have the combo available. Gets Carl TZ. Soul flickers in for the Jeet Kundo onto Carl TZ. And that's going to be EJ getting knocked up as well. Rebo, next one in line, is going to fall down. And that is a 4 and 0 trade in favor of Evos. Okay, I can appreciate now what Evos is drafting here. I didn't see it this way, but the angle seems to be... Oh! Yeah, early, we don't even need items. We just need our kit, and it's going to work out. So far, it, it's going that way. 5-0 currently, ahead by about 3,000 uh, or 2,000 and change here is Evos SG and Nomad. They don't even need the penalty zone. The body of Smith and the amount of damage that Terizla is dealing, that seems to be their ticket. To game three. That is what I am going to be pointing out and be looking forward to, though. Uh, Potato needs to make sure that in a big team fight later on, a penalty zone would be on point. Not a moment too late, especially with Carl TZ just looming over the horizon here uh, all across the map. Nice oh. flicker onto the Fatal Links and the Way of the Dragon as well onto a uh, few just to ensure that he will not be able to uh, go to his teammates. There goes the uh, Tempest of Blaze and Carl TZ finally gets a score on the board here. JPL going to try to uh, dish out a couple of damage there on the side of Bren, but they are going to be backing off. And here we go. Carl TZ getting chased down by JPL Pokemon and Eon. Eon looking for a target. He does not have Fatal Link, so it's just a threat. Oh, potato penalties are not connecting. Penalty zone from behind! He gets knocked up with a wild charge! Potato though surviving with the help of Body of Smith, and he's still in it. EJ is actually hesitant to, to, to fight back, but there you go. The pull onto Eon by few knocks out the Atlas. That's another for Brenny Sports uh, at, at the cost of no lives. So that's at least good. But Count Easy gonna get knocked out by Soul. Oh my god, the full combo gets him. But off cam, well, almost. Potato gets knocked out finally, and there's a kill. One more for Brenny Sports, but they're still way behind. Starting to... Uh, I mean, the Filipino teams are fearing the uh, Ling on Carl TZ, but EVOS SG, they don't give a damn. They they will just allow this uh, Carl TZ to uh, keep moving forward. And even if they uh, pick up the Ling, they have uh, proper answers. Esmeralda has a lot of shields, so the, the Tempest of Blades will not really be that much of a factor potato will be available at any time to just soak up all the damage that uh carl tz wants to deliver and the penalty zone will be the primary catch for these guys as well yeah now that you mention it 
uh, it looks like this is no funnel at all. I mean, <laughs> that's not funny, but it's no funnel at all because uh, you have damage from Soul, you have damage from Potato, and you have damage from Pokemon, and JPL is, is no slouch either. So I think this is the anti-meta strategy that we've been looking for. And there's the pull onto Soul. Soul, though, fighting back. With the way of the dragon and the flicker out of uh, three members of Bren Esports, and he survives while Potato up top. There's not much Rebo can do. Finishes off the first turret of the game. Oh, what an interesting attack on the meta. This is out of nowhere, but wait. Oh, Speaking the flicker. Out of nowhere. Plus the RKO, if you will, the Fatal Link staking out Kyle TZ. Man, it is 10-3. Um, Four minutes into the game, this is almost the uh, same scoreline that Brent Esports was during game number one against uh, Evos. And it's not working well for them. Lussie's going to be diving in, going to be popping out the corner. It's not going to be that much of a factor, though. He's going to be pushed way behind enemy lines, going to be taken oh, out. The yeah. way that Bren responded to that, though, if he dies, he dies. They were just er elsewhere on the map, and maybe Lusty could have fought back, but... I guess that's uh, an opportunity they cannot afford. So uh, they'll, they'll find uh, what they can on the map elsewhere and make sure that Carl Tizi can farm. But again, at one four zero, 0 man, it's really tough to be a Ling at this point in the game. Man, it's... Um, let's have a look at the uh, wallets of these guys. Um, Carl Tizi is relatively not that far behind, but he's still behind. It's not oh. that big of a lead, and it's still completely possible for Carl Tizi to bounce back. And as I say that, Carl Tizi manages to barely escape. Okay, he manages to escape now. And he doesn't want any of that. He needs to back off here. Uh, no point in turning back. He is going to try to turn back. Good nah, thing he'll, that he'll, 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 weave, he'll weave in and out. He, he does not want to go home. That's a, quite a bit of time shed off of his thick... His, uh, Jungling time is, is farm, but I think JPL got hit with a pull. Yeah, few committed the uh, Divine Judgment there, but off cam it was Pokemon just taking the turtle. Oh, man, what a turnaround, and how poetic is that? Game 1, Benny Sport stomps Evos, and in Game 2, it's Evos who's actually uh, driving, uh, if you will. Uh, they took this game by the reins with such an unorthodox lineup, but I like it. It's not as sound, but it is working. That's, uh, that's the only thing that's going on here for EVOS SG, and that's why I like this lineup. It's, uh, it's sp built specifically in order for them to, in order for Link to not be able to go in for the big team fights. And even then, there have been a couple of questionable plays here for Brand Esports. And there goes the Wild Charge, attempting to knock five people at all at the same time. Cauterant's not going to be enough for Lusty to survive. That nice Guardian's Barrier uh, allows Rebo to take down Soul in the back lines, but that has to be a complete disengage. I think the win condition here for Bren Esports is for, Car for Carl TZ to uh, create a lot of space for his team. But what I mean by that is he needs to start pushing, just like what he is doing in the top lane. Being the mobile hero that he is in Mobile Legends of Bang Bang, he can do so without any problems. And... Uh, it has to always be Potato or Pokemon re responding to what Carl TZ is going to do in the split pushes. Here's uh, an interesting thought. Oh, wait. Hold up. JPL getting caught out by few. Divine Judgment. Carl TZ committing in the Tempest of Blades. That's what I was going to bring up, actually. Oh, wait. Hold up. Fatal Links onto Carl TZ. He is going to blink away. Uh, run up to the wall, actually. Uh, Finch boys. There you go. Full combo down onto Lusty. Not gonna survive despite popping the Inferno. And uh, yeah, one for one here. JPL for Lusty. I was gonna say, what if? What if they start just trying to take down JPL more often, more actively, right? They uh, try to take down uh, the uh, arguably most fragile member of EVOS SG and take their farm from that. That might be a good direction here for Brenny Sports. What I gotta say though is that. Brent Esports can fight, but not as a five-man unit. They cannot, uh, they cannot stand a full 5v5 fight. Um, Pickoffs, just like what you said uh, on JPL, might work wonders for them. But mm -hmm. they should not be the ones getting picked off. They should not be the ones initiating the fight. 
uh, they should be counter engaging. As soon as they counter engage, just get one pick off, back off, go for the reset, and go for another fight. That's how I see Brent Esports should be doing the team fights. Yeah, conversions, think about them later. Big ticket team fights, think about them later. Few just get picked off here by Pokemon with a single falling star moon and just being chased down with a bite. Oh, this is difficult for Brenny Sports. I can imagine uh, where in the, they're not even safe in their own jungle. So, game one for Brenny Sports, at least they ended quickly. But for this, it's, it's such a, it's a surgical dissection here by Evos SG. Such a surgical, uh, and uh, yeah, Evos SG, they are the uh, Surgeon Generals here, taking command of the game and making sure that all moves are in their favor. They're they're under uh, the under the e, in the operating room with a scalpel in their hands, and they're just making fine, fine uh, surgical incisions into the line of oh. brand esports. As I say that, though, a one for one oh. trade. JPL is going to pay the price for that penalty zone being forced. And that's the penalty zone all on cooldown. Uh, not an <laughs> opening for Bren Esports. It is a uh -oh. one for two trade in their favor, but it's not working well for them. But as well, I say that, Pokemon's in a tight spot. Gets knocked up by the, by the wild charge. And Aeon immediately goes for the, for the backup. And the nope, he's still, he gets the trigger on the... Uh... Fatal Link, he just used it up. So, um, yeah. The kills that Brandy Sports can score, though, at this point in the game, will not exactly convert immediately. At least it's some space. And it's some way to even out what early game Evos SG has built for themselves. And so far, I I'm, I'm giving this uh, maybe a 30-70. Alright, 30-70 is still respectable. It's still possible, but... Actually, very generous, given that the mistake has to come from Evo's SG as they pick off Rebo really easily down bottom. EJ, not much he could have done as they stare down Lord. But look at this Pokemon really low already, but that's few and Kartizi committing so much to even just doing that much damage to Pokemon and few pays the price. Not a single casualty on Evo's SG, by the way. Not a single one. And... The money now is... Uh, Carl TZ is scaling really well. He is at the same board as uh, Potato and Pokemon. But the problem there is that he is the only one on the same page as uh, Potato and Pokemon. Uh, Rebo is slowly catching up. He's going to be a problem uh, soon enough. But we're not going to be uh, seeing any... We're not really going to be expecting a lot of big team fights here coming from Brent Esports. They will almost always lose... Oh, fights. Lusty pop there in the middle of this big fight. But now Pokemon gets shut down. That's a lot of gold going over to the side of Brenny Sports. Eon gonna follow suit. And the Lord is actually helping out in this big, big 5v5 fight. And <gasps> Cartesi gets to steal the Lord. They took it, actually turning it into a 2v3. And JPL gonna run for his life. Cartesi has a great bite on him as well with that orange buff. And it became a 2 for 4 Nomad. Plus this orange buff steal, plus the Lord take, plus a push by Rebo. What's going on? This is actually Soul running for his life now. He cannot even secure their own purple. Man, I just got proven wrong there. They can go for the team fights, but I can say that the factor there was that they were fighting inside the Lord Pit. Fighting inside the Lord Pit means that you will get knocked up. You will get swung on by the Lord, and that just adds another level, another layer of damage that Bren Esports is sort of lacking. And there's really not nothing that uh, Evos SG could have done there. If Evos SG decided to just stick with the Lord and try to take him out, there is a big chance that Brent Esports could have stolen it. And the team fight that happened there on, it's it just went to Brent Esports' way. Mm -hmm, couldn't have mm -hmm. couldn't have fought it any other way. Yep, yep. <laughs> if you try to describe how the team fight went. Uh, you just say Brandy Sports, they just went, man. It just happened. And Lord helped out. And now here we go. The siege on top has begun from having no turrets to themselves uh, to now threatening mid and top. What a swing here by Brandy Sports. Fatal Links now. Oh! On few. He gets knocked out by Pokemon. Penalty zone already being committed as well. There's the Tempest of Blades. Potato at less than half health. Now EJ wants to get out of here despite having immortality. You cannot just surrender yourself like that. 
and uh, they get a pick off on Few. Few is such a martyr in this game, man. Few is such a martyr, but his divine judgment is just so valuable. Oh man, it's um, she shouldn't be giving himself away that easily, though. He is a crucial member, a crucial catch here on the side of Bren Esports, so there's that. If we're wondering who the prime uh, target is for uh, this Divine Judgment, who do you think it would be, Nomad? A lot of choices. It has to be Pokemon or JPL. That's that's for one. Or if Soul is going to go for the Jeet Kune Do combos, don't give him any chance to go for the Wave the Dragon because that's going to be an opening for him to kick Carl TZ in towards the side of EVOS SG. Yeah, That's not okay. something that you want to happen. And that is another beautiful 3-man Fatal Links. Penalty zone's not available because he's not there just yet. Gets a penalty zone onto Lussie. Just onto Lussie. But Lussie is slowly being tanky here. And Few not being uh, the one to uh, to falter. Takes down Aeon. Potato probably going to be next in line. He is not going to be uh, as tanky as he wants to. And Brent Esports is winning this fight. Wow. EJ just... Knowing exactly when to stay, when to go, and lastly tanking it all using uh, Tam's passive and Cotterant Inferno to just the most that he could. But now up next, Pokemon. Oh, gets caught off up top. It's a zero for three, and I think the penetration that Brand has been looking for is gonna happen here. What a turnaround, Nomad. They've been losing for the most of uh, the early and the mid game, but the late game seems to belong to them. This is going to be mid, pierced through by the spear or the sword of Carl TZ and up next is gonna be the top lane with few keeping the pressure up down bottom oh my god it seems like the team fights that last long with weird outcomes or with the weird order of ults seem to benefit Brenny Sports and they know exactly just that as they continue the siege onto EVOS SG's base nice Eon, yep gonna be popped up here immortality he has it he gets the hell out of here Potato already used a uh, penalty zone and he seems to still be fighting. Oh, there's a fatal links onto EJ. Down goes EJ. Immortality still popped up. He's fine. Pokemon knocking down Lusty and they need to get out of here. That's going to be a four for, uh, sorry, a one for one. Soul for Lusty, but they lost two turrets in the process. And just like that, Brenny Sports back in the driver's seat. Man, this is. Um... All right, so we, we're kind of seeing how Brenny Sports wants to fight. They want to go for the prolonged team fights where, um, where it's not the entire EVOS SG lineup that's available for, uh, for them. It's uh, the moment that EVOS SG uh, clumps up together as a team and uh, waiting and ready for a fight. That is when Brent Esports will lose, if if they're gonna go for the siege and just take down the uh, top lane turret. And there are no minion waves uh, in their favor. They need to reset. They need to back off. Wait for an opportunity to pick off one or two members from EVOS SG. Because really, th that just goes to show that the defense and the base, EVOS SG can still fight as a team. They are relying on Aeon and Potato so much to catch members here from the side of Bren. Yeah. And uh, can I play Devil's Advocate for a bit? Maybe, just maybe, we're at the point where Bren can actually start picking up uh, 5v5s because of Lusty. I saw how amazing uh, the Cotton Inferno could be in the face of five enemies. But now look at this. Carl TZ picking a fight here with Soul. Now the fight has come to Carl TZ. And Aeon shuts him down with the full combo, the Dragon's Way. Now the penalty zone has been committed here by Potato. And looking really low is Aeon. He wants to get out of here. Nice block by EJ, but it might be too little too late. As JPL is also caught in the crossfire. Down goes EJ now. Still no casualties on the side of EVOS SG. Is this a turnaround of the turnaround? Pokemon takes down Lusty and JPL. Feeling the wrath of Few and the Rebo from the back lines. The originals from the El Clasico from the Philippine MPL scene. So taken out here by Fuse Kaja. And that's a one for three. But it opens up the Lord take for Pokemon and Eon. Not unless Few has something to say. Few hurts though. Yeah? He's hurting. He's hurting. Oh yeah. Aeon my... Aeon's gonna be forced back here. That's going to be the Falling Star Moon committed as well. And he hurts Pokemon. It doesn't matter. Few and Rebo, they're dishing out a lot of damage. Carl is going to be diving in. Look at Carl 
Oh, nope. He's just gonna finish the job. This is good target prioritization, but Potato, though, he has something to say. Oh, penalty oh! zone! <laughs> it's gonna be secured by Carl T. He gets a knock-up last minute, though, by the Lord. No follow throughs here by Evos. Oh, my oh. God, my guy. What a messy team fight that spans respawns after respawns across two different fronts with members who died first and then they came back for another round this is ridiculous this anybody's game still nomad but must note here almost 20 minutes in brandy sports is actually up by about eight thousand gold that just happened with this uh, swing earlier in that team fight near the uh, purple buff that's how brandy esports was able to turn things around Oh, and now the defense is now have to be mounted up by Evos SG. Lord slowly going in. That's a three man penalty zone and a fatal links, but the HPs are still relatively healthy here for Bren Esports. Evos SG HPs are all dropping dangerously low. Called easy, takes down Soul over in near the Lord. They're doing what they can to take him down, but I, th I think this is it. This is going to be it, and Bren Esports might just go ahead and go. To the oh, finals no. and face off oh. against Sun Sparks. Evos SG, they owned the early and the mid game here. Uh, it was such an unorthodox lineup that they really just could have snowballed. But it seems like Brenny Sports just found that window. It was a small window. It was a, a difficult game to say the least. I, 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 this is an understatement. But they turned it around after I'm guessing two team fights, two and a half team fights. Uh, they were able to maintain their, um, their 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 gold, their EXP, and just let Carl TZ do his thing. Again, there were so many times that Carl TZ could have died uh, unneededly, but they made it work in Brenny Sports here. Uh, I'm going to give maybe that the, the final nail in the turnaround uh, MVP moment to Lusty. Because I saw just how his Cotter Inferno made those elongate the, the, those extended team fights work for Bren. And man, with that being said, I uh, I'm surprised to see the sweep. I was expecting the game three already uh, at about eight minutes, nine minutes, but again, never.